Hey everyone, Darren here, and today we're going to be leveling first aid. We're going to level from 1 to 375. I'm going to be cutting out the cast times to make this a lot faster, but each step of the way I'm going to tell you what I'm doing, and that way you can follow along as you're leveling, and it'll be more of a follow along guide instead of just telling you what's great about first aid and why you should go out and level it. Let's get right into it. Alright, so first we're going to start off with linen cloth. And you should be able to get to level 80 with about 100 linen cloth. So we're going to go ahead and pick up first aid. So once you pick up first aid, it'll allow you to make linen cloth bandages. So we're going to go ahead and run these to level 40. All right, so now we're level 40. And from here, we're going to need to learn heavy linen bandages. Okay, so we've grabbed more linen cloth and we're ready to go from 40 to 80. So once you hit level 75 first aid, you need to pick up uh, journeyman first aid, otherwise you're gonna end up wasting linen cloth. So once you grab journeyman, you're gonna make heavy linen bandages all the way to 80, and I used right at 200 linen cloth. I accidentally overshot and went to 81, so you can probably get away with like 180 linen cloth or something like that. All right, so once you hit level 80, um, that's when you're gonna learn to make wool bandages. All right, so we're gonna go grab some wool cloth and start working on 81 to 115. Okay, so once you get 115, you're gonna need about 100 more wool cloth and we're gonna make heavy wool bandages. So we're gonna go ahead and make heavy wool bandages until we get to 150. Make sure to stop right when you get to 150, otherwise you're gonna make more bandages but not actually gain levels. Okay, so once you hit 150, you're gonna go ahead and learn silk bandages from her, but your trainer's not gonna actually teach you how to go past 150. You're gonna to have to go to Arathi Highlands and buy a book. So you're gonna have to buy the expert first aid book, which you could also get off the auction house, but I recommend going and just talking to the guy and buying the book. And there's also a couple of other books that you'll need at this point. Um, it would be nice to pick up the heavy silk bandage book and the mage weave bandage book, which are both sold by the same guy. So it really just makes a lot of sense to go out there and grab these. So I'll report back once I actually get to the guy that sells the book. All right, so once you get to Strong Guard Keep in Arathi Highlands, you're gonna be looking for Deneve Walker. Um, you're gonna to have to wrap around to the right here. Um, and you're basically gonna do a big circle back to the part where you entered at. Yeah, because you came in right here um, on the other side of this wall and then there's a bridge going over the entrance way. And I believe he is somewhere in here. Yeah, hold on, let me go back. Okay, so this was the entrance. And then you took a right right here and then you just circle around and you get here and old Deneb Walker is standing right here around the corner. Okay, so you're going to want to buy the expert first aid under wraps. You're also going to want to pick up the heavy silk bandage and the mage weave bandage recipes as well. And that will uh, that'll get you going on the next way. So that's if you're Alliance. If you're Horde, the guy's in a different place. So if you're Horde, you're gonna wanna talk to Balai Lockwing here, which is in Brackenwall Village inside of Dustwallow Marsh. And she's gonna sell the same three books and you wanna make sure to buy all three. So, all right, let's get back to leveling first aid. So the first thing we're gonna do now that we've got our new books is we're gonna learn first aid under wraps. So this is gonna teach us expert first aid which is gonna allow us to go to 225. So at this point, if you've got any wool cloth that you wanna just burn through, I guess you could do that. But the next part we're gonna do using silk bandages. Silk bandages are gonna take us from 150 to 180. So I'm gonna go grab some silk and then we'll start working on that. All right, so now that we've got some silk, we're gonna go ahead and make a bunch of silk bandages. Okay, so that took me around 45 silk cloth. And next we're gonna make heavy silk bandages, which is the book that we bought. So go ahead and use your book, and now you can make heavy silk bandages. Okay, so heavy silk bandages are gonna take us from 180 to 210. So we're gonna go ahead and make that and come back when we get to 210. Okay, so once you get to 210, you wanna stop making heavy silk bandages, and that's where we're gonna transition into mage weave bandages. Um, mage weave cloth is significantly more expensive than silk cloth, so this is definitely gonna be a step up. But we're gonna go grab some mage weave cloth and push on from 210 to 240 with mage weave cloth. Okay, so now that we've got some mage weave cloth, we're gonna run from 210 to 240. So let's get to it. Okay, so you're gonna travel to Theramore and you're gonna find Dr. Gustav Van Housen and he's gonna have a quest called Triage that we're gonna do. So if you're Horde, you're gonna wanna go to Arathi Highlands 
and there's a horde town here called Hammerfall. And there's going to be a guy there that has a quest that's exactly the same. It's also called Triage, if you want to look it up. And I'm just going to do it here on the Alliance side. Just know that for the Horde, it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, and he also is a trainer. So later you'll be able to learn Heavy Mage Weave Bandages, Rune Cloth, and Heavy Rune Cloth Bandages from him. So, okay, so we're going to grab the quest. And the goal is to save 15 patients before 6 die. And he's going to give you some special bandages to do that with. So I grab the quest. I have the bandages. Okay, so now a new patient has appeared. Uh, he's slowly dying. But yeah, you just click him and then use the bandage on him. And now we've saved one. So yeah, you just have to keep doing that over and over again until you've saved 15 of these guys. And then it'll be quest complete and we can move on to the next part. So I'll check in when I finish the quest so we can move on. All right, so now that you've completed the quest, you just have to turn that in. And then that'll get you your next level of first aid. Okay, so once you're at that point, you're at 225, you can actually continue running with Mage Weave Bandages all the way to 240. So I'm going to run this to 240 and then get back. Okay, so now that we're 240, we're actually going to talk to him and learn how to make heavy Mage Weave Bandages. Okay, so now we're going to go from 240 to 260 making heavy Mage Weave Bandages. So I'm going to start making these and I'll report back when I get to 260. Okay, so now that we're at 260, we can actually start making rune cloth bandages. If you have extra mage weave and you want to use some of that mage weave instead of making rune cloth, you can. But generally speaking, mage weave cloth is usually more expensive than rune cloth, so you want to switch as soon as you can. So I'm going to go grab some rune cloth, and then we'll level from 260 to 290 off of rune cloth bandages. Okay, so we have some rune cloth, so now I'm going to start making these, and I'll get back to you when I hit 290. Okay, so once you're 290, um, rune cloth bandages are going to go green, and that's where we start making heavy rune cloth bandages. So heavy rune cloth bandages will take us from 290 to 330. So you can run this to 300 right now. So what I'm going to do is head over to Hellfire to buy the new books. You're going to need to go to the Temple of Tillamat and talk to Burko if you're Alliance. And if you're Horde, you're going to talk to Arcella, who's down here at Falcon Watch. So we're going to head over to the Temple of Telemat and talk to Burko and grab our three books. Okay, so once you get to the Temple of Telemat, you're going to walk up and Burko is going to be over here hiding on the left side. So you're going to talk to him and you want to buy all three of the books. He's got Netherweave Bandage, Heavy Netherweave Bandage, and your First Aid Doctor in the House book. So now that we have that book, we can't actually use it until we get to 300. So I'm going to go ahead and make these heavy rune cloth bandages until I hit 300. Okay, so now that we're 300, we can go ahead and use Doctor in the House. So now we're uncapped to 375, so we're on the home stretch now. Okay, so now that we've made it to 300 and we're on the home stretch, we're going to go ahead and make heavy rune cloth bandages until we get to 330. And then after that, we can start making nether weave bandages. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make these until I'm 330. Okay, so those last couple of levels were green, so they used a lot of rune cloth. But now that we're at 330, we can make netherweave bandages. So I'm going to grab some netherweave cloth, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got a ton of netherweave cloth, we're going to run from 330 to 360, making regular netherweave bandages. Okay, so now that you're 360, you want to go ahead and use your other book to be able to make heavy netherweave bandages. And now you're just going to make heavy netherweave bandages until you get to 375. Okay, congratulations! We've made it to 375. So you've got the ability to make heavy nether weave bandages and you're ready to go. I would say that first aid is probably one of the most underrated professions. If you're doing uh, twos and arena and stuff, bandages can go a very long way. Um, it can be nice for raids to help out your healers and stuff like that and really help with those clutch situations. But for me personally, I usually level first aid because of PvP. But it is a nice little thing to level on the side and it's kind of cool to take a break and level first aid. Well, I appreciate you joining me and leveling first aid with me. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, it would really help the channel out. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video.